This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, and by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana. I'm Gary Rosponi. Here we are, Superior Bait and Tackle on Seagull Lane. Right now, that's your neighbor right now, CCA. And I hear we got a new thrasher? We do, we do. As of last, uh, 10 days ago. So Conrad uh, was born on May 7th, and so, you know, new addition to the family, but I'm back, back in the swing of things. That's why I hadn't been on in the last I didn't get couple to, weeks. The first time in years, I didn't get to make the banquet. They tell me it was a... It was all lit up with pictures of the baby and you. They, they, apparently so. It was the same day, the Baton Rouge Banquet was the same day as my child's birth, so it was the first one I've missed in 15 years. So, I, but, ain't, I ain't missed one in a long time also, but uh, uh, not only had a sickness, I had a death and everything else coming up. Let, let me tell you this. CCA, the star is on us. Coming up this weekend, I'm so glad you, you got to make it. We were trying to get you here for a couple of weeks. We're going to talk a lot about Star when we come back and any changes made and what has happened. Also, I, ma I made a trip to Italian American Rodeo. That's the annual deal. I missed last year. I think Don then went last year. And they call it Italian American Rodeo. There's a lot of, like we say in Italian, a medra medra A medra medra, medra medra. That means, hey, their mama, you know, we had names like Catois. And Robbie Rab and all them, they don't tell you names, you know, all them, I tell them, but, but they got Italian influence and they come up with this rodeo. So we talk, we talk to them about the history of Italian rodeo. We got some, some video. Uh, me and my new social media person, Brendan Dubrock and Kurt Jacobs have been shooting a lot of video for us from down there. Thank you, Kurt. They, they shot it and went out in a boat got to fishing with LJ and some of his clients and the people there for New Orleans fishing. So we, we got a busy weekend. We got a tournament report. Uh, I met the Venetian Isles too, and that was CT, one of the judges, that big crawfish cookout. Right. And it's always a fundraiser for the Venetian Isles rodeo and things that have to do over there, the fire department, whatever. And I, I was glad I could make it. Uh, I didn't have time to eat crawfish but I did sneak a hamburger. I so imagine that. We were running. But look, there's tons of tournaments going on. There was a huge weekend down in Grand Isle and Fouchon last weekend with ABC and Black and Gold and a, and a few others and, and plenty more coming up besides Star, Swole Fest, Grand Isle Tarpon Rodeo, you name it, lots coming up. We'll be in there. And uh, Berkey, I'll be going to see a fishing report. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract a driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. Benny's Unlimited Wash Club memberships start at $14.99 a month. Wash, rinse, and repeat every day. Join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club at one of Benny's seven locations. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Rad Fasher, CCA star, chairman, president, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Man, look, it's fast approaching. Before we get started, I want to congratulate the early bird winner. And we ain't got one more early bird winner coming up. Maybe I, I might get eligible. 
Kevin Munt from Doucon, Louisiana. Congratulations, being an early signee and runner. Tell yeah. Yeah, Kevin was one of the, uh, the weekly drawings. So we've had uh, 11 so far. we got one left this week. And uh, and then the whole tournament starts on the 25th, this Saturday. You, you're going to be a dog. For the, can I write you a check? I yeah. got this in the mail. I've been running so much. Look, that's my, that's my membership. You're going to sign up on, on air. I like it. That's impressive. Yeah, definitely do it. Thank goodness we, I came this week. Otherwise, you'd have been late. No, I don't want to the <laughs> office. I, I don't want to be late. Look, Gary, I, I it, it is the 25th year of STAR. Um, it, we are expecting some great things. Fish are being tagged as we speak. We've got almost all of them done. In fact, we actually had one in Leeville caught uh, last week, so I had to send my tagger back down to replace that tag. Uh, so there will be 100, 100 tags swimming uh, across the coast, everywhere from Hopedale all the way to Sabine, Sabine Lake. We've got something for everybody. I'm hoping that if the wind lays down for Memorial Day weekend come Saturday, I think we're going to have a pretty full board for the start. You, you know, last year I was happened to be there at the Marines when they tag fish come in, mm -hmm. and, and they look almost undersized. Do y'all y'all pick them at random? Y'all y'all. I know they got to be, you know, they're over 16. You know, you look at it. But do y'all use a bigger sizes too when y'all tag? They are all slot fish, so they're all gonna be 16. If it's got a red tag in it, what about big bigger than 16, 20 inches? Well, we go up to 20, 22. It obviously yeah. it really depends on the tagger, and what I mean by that is we have to go out and catch these fish, and we don't try to do it too early. We're not fishing for them in March and April. We wait into May. That way, we we get them in, they get swimming and get acclimated and and we know where they are and they don't get caught too early. So we try to stay under 22, 23 inches. Now, look, if it's, you know, the Thursday before the tournament and I got one tag fish to go and it's a 24 incher, I might tag it. Um, but typically you're looking for 16 to 20, 22 inches. We don't want it to grow out of the slot um, because we don't want to ever put anybody in a spot where they catch it and, and you know, they've already got a bull on board and they can't keep it. So. You're looking for smaller fish, but they will be legal. If it's got a red tag in it, it's a legal fish for sure. Red tag. That might, red yeah, tag. I still never collect off my yellow tag yet, but I'm going to tell you what. That ain't y'all fault. That's my fault for not going to do it. They, they, they got a bunch of prizes, but, you know, last last few years, y'all saw them give a hint. You've been on different shows. Mm -hmm. You saw them give a hint. You've seen the background about where they were. Y'all gonna do that again this year? Absolutely, definitely follow us on Facebook and Instagram, even Twitter. We're gonna start putting some clues out. There's some that have already been released. I don't know if y'all watch uh, Todd Masson. He put one out uh, in Lake Catherine. Check out his Facebook page or ours. And he, he told you exactly where it is. There will be more clues to come uh, throughout the tournament. We want these fish caught. We want, we want winners. We've got some great sponsors giving away some great prizes and they wanna see those prizes go out the door. Let's talk about the sponsors and, so, then, and then prizes. This so year. we do have a little change in the tag redfish division this year, which is exciting. So the first is all as it has been for 24 years. Chevy Silverado goes for the first tag redfish winner. The second prize is a 35 foot travel trailer from Bent's RV. Then three through five are 21 foot Nautic Stars with Mercury outboards and McLean trailers. Then six through 10 are gator tail boat motor and trailer packages. So the new, new addition is, is the Bentz RV, uh, which is a really cool addition. We're seeing a lot more of that kind of stuff on the coast. And then one extra piece that we've been doing for the last few years, the first red tagged redfish winner that is also a Louisiana Sportsman subs magazine subscriber Ten. will get $10,000 on top of that Chevy Silverado. Tony back that up pretty good too. I've uh, seen them all over there. You see the advertising. You, you know, uh, let me give a shout out to your sponsors. You know, it's very hard. You know, we all work on sponsors. Those people step up like that. It, this is what makes it so popular. And, and uh, besides all the hard work you do, and it's, it's local here and everything, but CCAs around the country, you know, they bring in sponsors. But y'all do the best job around. And this because these people, heart is in there. So y'all go back and help these sponsors. And, and when you go back, Truck, you think about Chevrolet, you think about uh, Bent's over there at the RV place. You think about those people and doing it. Look, our, the, our people are loyal. The Gator Tail's been putting on tournaments and everything. They done stepped up. So, in mud boats, as uh, popular as they can get. 
Anything else you need to say about them, but I well, want to tell you. Well, I appreciate it. Look, the, the sponsors are what make this tournament go. Everything that comes in goes right back out in prizes. So if it wasn't for people like the Chevy dealers and, and Benz RV and Nautic Star and Mercury and Chevron, our presenting sponsor, people like that, without it, it just doesn't happen. Uh, one other change I need to tell, tell everybody about it this year for the second and third place prizes of each division of trout. So east, west, southeast, southwest. For second and third place prizes, last year we gave $2,500 in cash and $1,000 in cash for second and third. According to the new tax uh, plan sent by, by DC, we're not allowed to give cash anymore. It turns it into a gaming event. So we doubled the size of the prizes. So it's 5,000 for second place and $2,500. It's gonna come in the form of tackle, uh, a package of our sponsors. So you're gonna see rods and reels and coolers, probably some Murchie sunglasses and so on. Um, but we will stock you up with 5,000 and 2,500. It's not because we wanted to cut back on prizes. We can bet on football games and all those other cases. You can't, you can't give no cash. Huh? I, I can't give cash at a fishing tournament. Now, once again, that might change, but nobody has fought that that declaration yet. Wait a yet. second, now Bassmaster Classic, they're getting a check for It's a di different game. Dollars. It's a different deal uh, uh, as a nonprofit. About it. So, Stay tuned, we're going to come back. Uh, and uh, when we come back, we're going to be at the Italian American Rodeo. It's, I think it's 13th Animal. Uh, lucky 13. These boys brought it back. And uh, I heard it was the biggest crowd ever. So we come back to Italian American Rodeo. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. New Berkeley Fireline Ultra 8. It's rounder, smoother, and four times more abrasion resistant than original Firewood. Expect 10% longer casts and superb knot strength. And you thought Fireline couldn't get any better. Hi, I'm John Jackson, and you know we always say we gather our groceries out the bayou. Whether it's freshwater, saltwater, catfish, redfish, you have tons of choices when it comes to fish in Louisiana. But when I fry fish, there's only one choice, and that's Louisiana fish fry. My new favorite, the Cajun fish fry, has the perfect amount of cornmeal, corn flour, and the perfect mix of spices that really bring the heat. Hey, if you're craving Cajun, go look for the bright red bag at your local grocers. Bring home the taste of Louisiana with Louisiana Fish Fry. So yeah, we're gonna go out this morning and look for some clean moving water with bait. We're gonna go red fishing first. Um, and if we run across some birds, then we'll play with those and do some trout fishing. But uh, mainly we're gonna go red fishing. Okay, so it's it's a beautiful morning so far. The wind isn't blowing. That's why you see the fog on the water and then the top of the marshes and like that. Um, the wind's gonna start blowing around 10 o'clock probably uh, when, when the, when the sun starts to warm up the atmosphere, the wind's gonna start blowing. So we're gonna try to get out early and make our furthest run without all of the wind, and then we'll work our way back. As it gets windy, we're gonna stay in the interior marshes. The shrimp are down below the surface and they're being driven to the surface by the fish that are, uh, that are under them feeding on them. And then the, when they get to the surface, the birds are attacking the, the shrimp from above. So 
this is what's going on, and we're going to see if we can catch a couple right quick. All right, look, they're going to take small dogs. Yeah. They're showing, but they small. So, they got a bunch of schoolies, school trout under these, under these birds right now. Driving them to the surface, you know. Okay, so we're going to try and fish this point, see if there's any redfish here. We're going to start out using live shrimp, put our best foot forward. Alright, net. It ain't that big. I probably won't need the net. Yeah, he came up already. Look. That's a little guy. Hey, little fella. The only reason you here is because nobody else could keep you. Small one. We fishing. We fishing with live shrimp. So I'm gonna put put this hook right here in the middle of this back square. These are all squares that flex. And we fishing about a foot and a half under the cork. This is a full horse cork. Good, man, it has a lot of good sound to it. Oh um, damn. And we fishing with 40 pound monofilament for a leader and 30 pound um, braided for fishing line. And you can, if you won't miss bull reds and stuff like that if you run across. This is, my, this is a redfish rig. No. Not a little one, huh? Oh, got oh, it's time to go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna... I'm down. Oh, here we go. Oh, there you go. All right, fish on. This one might keep. Feels like a pretty good fish. I haven't seen the cork yet, so he's he's staying down. Oh uh, yeah, this is a good one, y'all. Hey, Mr. Redfish, you going for a boat ride? All right, Scooter's going to get the net. Thanks for cooperating with us this morning. There he is. Oh yeah, that one, that one goes. He goes in the box. All right, thank you, Scoot. Good job, bro. There you go. Put him right there. Oh, oh, he had a run. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Oh yeah, you're going for a bull round. All right. I'm netting y'all who net. Taking my roll. I'm taking your roll, brother. I'm the new netting y'all who. Huh? Ooh, that's a good one. Wait, wait, wait. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Your destination has been determined. Good? By the time the trick was over, I had You good? Then, oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. All right. <laughs> fish on. <laughs> fish on. I'm talking about you got a big fish, man. Fish on. Look at this rod bent. Nice. Look, scooter's hooked up, too. We got two on. You got it? All right. Good. Got it. All right. All right. Thank, All right. You. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, brother. Yeah, we got Bob in the boat, man. A little bigger. Just got a little bigger. 
Alright. Yeah, I think he'll keep, man. Oh, yeah. Under 27? He's under 27. That might be a good slot fish. Okay, so LJ, Captain LJ with New Orleans Fishing Charters. We went out today looking for clean moving water with bait. Um, we bounced around in the Delacro area. We found pockets of clean water. We caught redfish. We got nice redfish. We have uh, a few a few limits of beautiful redfish. Uh, we caught one speckled trout, one nice flounder, kind of a mixed box of things. We got a drum. Um, we were fishing with plastic, we were fishing with live bait, we were fishing with dead bait, under a cork, um, all different scenarios, and uh, we wound up with a nice box of fish. Italian American Rodeo. Here we are at Hopedale, and uh, I ain't been there all 13 years, but these are the two guys that brought it back. Alan Catois, Robert Rab. Alan, you know, neither one of y'all got an Italian name, but I know there's <laughs> Italian influence everywhere. By the way, where, where'd you go to high school? I went to Archbishop Rommel. Holy Cross. Boy, that's them Catholic school boys over there. You know, that's some history. That's, right. history. that's right. Yeah. You know, we, we always, when they say Rommel, we always think about Don Dubuque because he's one of the legends and one of the better football players. You know, the food, the atmosphere, the family atmosphere, what did it take to bring this back? I tell you, um, you know, we did this, we started this thing back 13 years ago. Robbie called me one day and said, you know, we were kids growing up when I, I Robbie's uncle, uh, his dad, my dad, and a group of guys started this thing back in the 70s. As you know, and it went through uh, like eight, 1989. But so 13 years ago, Robbie calls me and says, "Let's get this thing going." And we we just put some guys together, and you know, we started slow, and uh, it's, just, it's just built up every year since our first year in Lafitte. I think we donated like five thousand yeah. dollars to Children's Hospital, and last year we donated twenty six thousand. So we were over one hundred sixty thousand over you know over the time that we've been putting this together. It's just been snowballing. The word's gotten out, and uh, it's just gotten bigger and bigger. So it's you know. Robbie, you know, you got me involved in this thing a long time ago We you know, advertised on Paradise, Louisiana, and I appreciate it, you know. It's a big honor to me being American. Being a guy like yourself. Being American <laughs> Italian, you know. And I, I'm, I'm, I got three different schools, all in North Baton Rouge, you know. I had them, you know, Redemptus is a big rivalry. We used sure. to play Redemptus in New Orleans. 
So it really to see all these people and the older people talking to you, see your uncle, talking about the world the boxing history. champion, yeah. the history. So I, I I just get involved and it just gets gets to my heart. And they, and they had this many people came up to me today. They watched the show. Uh, what was been the biggest challenge right now? <laughs> well, um, y'all came yeah. after the hurricane. Yeah, you know, so um, everything has been pretty smooth. You know, you would think after 13 years, everything would kind of run on itself. It never fails. Every year has a hiccup. Um, but we've been doing it so long now that we can handle the hiccups. Um, so right now we're kind of used to everything. Everything kind of runs on its own. And it's, it's a, a big enjoyment for us. And the great thing is now we have second, third generation doing the same thing that we did that are already looking, guess what? They telling us what to do now. You heard that name a while ago, Mason. Yeah. What grade are you in and where you go to school? Fifth grade at St. Elizabeth Antietam. Yeah. What's your favorite fishing to do? Speckled trout, redfish, what? Trout. Trout. What's the biggest trout you ever caught? I don't know. You don't know? No. Tell huh? me what you catch over there. How many times you been on TV? Twice. Twice? All right, good enough. Go to work. You got to keep this heritage going, you know that. So I know you're out there working. You got to keep this going now for years and years and years. You ready? Yeah. That's good. Congratulations. This lady does it all. Not only she fish, she volleyball and swimming. Yes, oh, you're sir. good at How old are you, Katie? I'm 11. Katie Rabb, the next generation of the Italian American rodeo and women in the outdoors. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> You got anybody you want to say hey to? You got a, you want to <laughs> holler shout? You got a boyfriend? No. Better not in front of your daddy. You better be careful. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Italian, Italian American, American Fishing Rodeo. Rodeo. And you can watch this on Paradise, Paradise Louisiana. Louisiana. All right. We did all right? That's not bad? Y'all did pretty good for Catholic we School Boys. You know, yeah. We've been here doing this a long time. You know, we got used to this. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much Hang for being on. here. Oh, yep, thank you all it. for thank what y'all do. Appreciate right. it. I thank y'all for all the... Half Italians and quarter Italians and everybody we, here. You know, we should I say this every year. We should have called this the Mutt Rodeo. The Mutt Rodeo. You know, we got Polacks to Germans to you name it, we got uh, them working say here. Nothing as, as offensive now. No, we not. We not. No. <laughs> Keep it clean. I Keep know a clean. couple of them people call me names and ain't, ain't too offensive. <laughs> hey, this is a place to be. This is a place to be. Right now, here in May. Getting close to you. Hopedale Marina, Hopedale, Louisiana. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style. For lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. Benny's Unlimited Wash Club memberships start at $14.99 a month. Wash, rinse, and repeat every day. Join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club at one of Benny's seven locations. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and this is our rodeo and tournament report. You know, before we get to what's coming up, we have some big tournaments and rodeos that came up right now. Big rodeo last week, besides the Italian American rodeo, ABC rodeo down in uh, Sand Dollar. You, you made a trip, or you went to, what's the report? From no, I was, we were having a baby, and so I was getting a bunch of text messages that they, everybody was hammering trout all over the place, uh, and they were wondering where I was. But uh, So no, I didn't make it, but you had a big tournament, a good crowd for ABC and Black and Gold, but I th do you have any of the results from it? Well, you know, the Black and Gold, I used to do it, but this year didn't have it. No, I don't have any results. My son and him, they caught a lot of trout. But the good report is 
Chris Moran and all them, we were talking about the fishing boat, they're catching a lot of fish offshore. Oh, yeah. Now, Saturday was tough, bumpy. But Friday was a good day, so then a lot of people, a lot of fish came in at ABC Rodeo. Now, I'll give you another update. Give a shout out to the owners of Venice Marina, Mike and Bill Butler, as well as my buddy J.D. Dugas aboard the Craw Gator, ended up winning the Orange Beach Billfish Classic with an 825 pound bluefin tuna on Saturday night. So big shout out to those guys, a heck of a catch, fish of a lifetime for sure. You know, you, you say that, h and &E equipment always down there for rouse and all them and fish down there. Uh, that, that's a, that is a big tournament. We don't have a lot of local people win big money over there. Oh, look, it was funny. They thought it might be a state record, um, and the person they're battling against is John Inquist. So, uh, uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of big fish caught at Orange Beach, but give a shout-out to those guys. They did a great job. And uh, Guys, y'all got some pictures. Send it to me. Gary Paradise, Louisiana. We'll run it next week. Uh, going back to fishing tournaments, you know, let me talk about bass tournaments right now. Uh, I got a little late last, last week. The best, the best six, we used to call it the top six. We used to call it the top 20 and whatever they call it. Yeah, yeah, all the bass clubs, there's, there's the ALBC, Association of Louisiana Bass Clubs. They had it May 4th and 5th at Toledo Bend. By the way, there's some people catching fish at Toledo Bend, Sackley and bass. But they had Siskiyou Bass Club fish. The guy that sent me, Buster Simpson, uh, he, he's big. He's an older fellow like us, and he loves kill fishing these times. Did you just put us in that category? Huh? Did you just put me in that category? Us? I say us. No, you, you, you're still a baby. Okay, thank you. But I say us, I mean like me, KD, you know, Don Dubuque, Joe Mack. Got it. I, that's us. All right, but look, uh, it, the, the Toad Hunters Bass Club out of Alexandria, they won it. Congratulations to them. They had 60 bass club fishing. These guys had nine fish each day at 18. That, that went 6177. Uh, you can go on the website, the ALBC, and get all the rest of them. But to his team, I told him I'd mention them. Y'all watch the show all the time in Alexandria. God bless y'all. Thank y'all. Give me a sponsor from Alexandria. Huh? We'll get them all. Look, Ross Bryant, Jeff Griss, Buster Simpson, Sam Canoe, Will Castens, and Kerry Raymond. Or Raymond. Guys, congratulations. Buster, thank you. Keep in touch. You're going to start sending me more fish report from the central part of the state. Thank you. Uh, and another tournament right now, uh, this has uh, been going on, getting more and more popular. All the big time bass fishermen have fished it. It's the Fishers of Men. Uh, it was held out of Bayside. Over there in Pierport, they had an idol everywhere you went. And some of these people right now that I know, you see them in the, in the, win, the winning. Uh, I got the first reports that came from Steve Fontana and Brad Bowie. Steve and his wife, they sent me all these totals because the, he's been so high late, he's been in the top, first, second, third. He had a dead fish that blew him off. It, it, it went from second to third, but it didn't drop off too bad. First place, Tom Goins and TJ Goins at 14.79. Big and Big Bass <laughs> at 4.45. Second was Alex Perret, Kerry Beard at 14.41. 3.68 Big Fish. Steve Fontana and Brad Boy with the loss of the weight. Two one hundred of the balance. They, it could have been second or up there. Look, he had 14, 39, and a big fish to 362. So, top weight, Bo Fitz, Jeff McMorris, Chris Cardell, Brian Dim, all of them had over 14 pounds. That's, that's good fish this time with all the high water. Uh, and the Witty and Warren Crouch, Jacob Meyer, Marlon Kropinski, Malcolm Smith, Gary Christian, William Holly, Donnie Holly, Heath. Uh, Giat and um, Malia Giat. So that's the top 10. That's the top 10. So I, I'm going to tell y'all. Now, thank Winston Michelle and his wife, Bridget, for sending me there. Bridget, you feeling a little bit bad? Get well, baby, because we can't do it without you. Thank you. Now, this is the big one. Always, uh, this amazes me right now. This high school fishing is so popular. You know, thanks to Jim and Cindy Bro. 
and all these sponsors and all these parents and can't 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 forget Mr. Hoover. Look, look bad it's good man. having all these kids involved. So well, I'm I'm telling you right now. So so I'm gonna I'm gonna read them off to you. They they fished out of Bob Tip oh, Memorial. Can I do that again, Chris? No. Bob tippled over Memorial Boat Launch and Amelia because the, the other lands were too high. You know, you can't right. do it. They couldn't do it. Uh, the Junior Southwest Bassmasters out of Denham Springs, is, it, it's hosting this, and uh, they fished the Bayou Black area, high water. Uh, the kids caught a lot of fish, a lot of, lot of big water. They were, so who won? Tw there were 27. I got I to gotta get these kids more than that. Hold on. 27 five fish limits weighed in. So it was really good. Uh, the results are 15, 18 year old age group. First place is David Gumo, Gumo, New Rose. 12 pounds. Second place, Hanson Cheney. You hear that name all the time. Walker with 10 something. Third place is Caden Riley. Big, big bass is David Gumo with a 313, 11, 14 year age group. Uh, Caden Sellers, Denham Springs. Second place, Trent LeBeau from Bruley. Third place, Hunter Robinson from Denham Springs. Big Bass, Trent LeBeau. Seven, 10 year age group, Jack Bonado in Denham Springs. Second place was Blake LeRae from Bruley. Third place was Branson McMillan from Bruley. Big Bass, Jack Bonado. <clears throat> and the other division was uh, Kelly Smith, a new rose. Now, I don't know what happened to the other one. But I saw a name in there I, I couldn't believe in fishing with the others. Wayne Tucker. <laughs> I'm going to see to everybody. Congratulations. Especially y'all parents keep them going fishing. Uh, did we have any more I got going on? No, we got to talk about events coming up, like you said. This one this weekend, Besides Star, Grand Isle Trout Rodeo. Grand Isle Trout Rodeo. Sand Dollar Rodeo. Marina. And people are going to be there. They got three days of fishing. Uh, I don't know if they might have cut it back two days, but three days of fishing. I know that you got to wear a fish every day uh, for to have a chance to win. It's like it's like playing poker or something. You hold them and whatever you do. Mm -hmm. uh, my good friend Tommy Vidream been throwing back some six and seven Ooh, pounds. He's been on, on some good fish, yeah, really good and, fish. And, uh, and then not only him, I got some. Good, if we get to the fishing port, I got some too. So. It, that's it. That's going to be at Bridgeside. So, uh, good Lord willing, I'm going to be there. Okay. And uh, they're going to be crowning that, the trial champion this year. They ain't always been men, you know. Right, no doubt. You no, know, Ms. Ainsworth won that thing one time right there by the bridge. Uh, Swole Fest. It's coming up. It's going to be a good one. A really, really good one. You know, Swole Fest is, is, is coming up. It's almost the same weekend. There's some other things that are going on. <laughs> Same weekend as a fun shoot for dreams come true. Can't be everywhere, but Swole Fest is to my heart. It benefits so many organizations that we work with, especially the new children's hospitals. That's it. Look, you know. it's a great cause. That's why I'm the Waymaster. We're heavily involved. There's a new kids uh, zone under the, we're going to the big pavilion this year. So it'll be under the Tarpon Rodeo Pavilion at Sand Dollar. It's going to be a fun one. So if you haven't ever been to Swole Fest, come check it out. Um, you, you won't be disappointed. Music every night, great food, you name it. Uh, and, and a lot of And the money they done raised, that old million dollars right now for some of them organizations. But uh, we just ran it on show. That's it with Eric Searcy yeah, on the show. But that's just one of the many people that have won trips. They took trips right. in Texas at the big deer ranches, the deer hunt, and uh, and just equipment for these people, you know, and wheelchairs oh, and stuff. It's amazing. And we got to give a shout out to Dr. Rayburn and his Jesuit boys. You know, uh, uh, even the Catholic school boys, you'd be surprised what they do. They come from New Orleans, started that thing. It's a lot of history with that. <laughs> Cito Redfish. Cito taking over the Redfish. Cito, Redfish Cup. It's going to be June 7th with the captain's meeting. And uh, my, my friend from over there at Lost Cajun is going to be doing some cooking the night before. Uh, it'll be June the 8th, and it all benefits Wish to Fish. So cool. thanks to Cito. Good company. That's what we call the AAA of, uh, of the water. Eh? They're good. So, good guys, too. 
That's it. I, and it, like I said, remind you of the fun shoot. So I guess when we come back, shoot. we're going to talk about news like opening the snapper season, things like that, as well as a bunch you of You the man reports. on that. When we come back, we got a little we can do news. news. Perfect. For generations, anglers from across the globe have put their trust in Abu Garcia because out here on the water, we know our science is your religion. Fish like a fanatic with the latest generation of Revo, featuring up to 24 pounds of max drag, designed for leverage and power, built on corrosion resistance and comfort. World-class adventure awaits with Revo, Abu Garcia for life. My neighbor Tony, he looked at me and said, man, you're crazy. You're about to leave out in this weather. And I said, sir, I have a tag fish to go catch. I won this beautiful boat catching a tag red fish in Venice, Louisiana. There's 100 redfish waiting. It all starts Memorial Day weekend. Sign up today. Man, we got the news coming in. We ain't got a whole lot. I don't have a whole lot. Thank you for coming right now. Give me the news of what's going on with snapper season and everything. The, the, the biggest news I've got is snapper season opens on Thursday. So the Memorial Day weekend, you get a longer longer weekend. Then we're going to go to weekends only for the rest of the summer until the quota is met. My guess is we'll get, hopefully get to Labor Day. It might shut down sometime in August, but snapper season's open. They are out there. I was with Captain Chris Moran and uh, trying to catch mangroves and we kept catching red snappers. So it is open. Uh, make sure you have your offshore landing permit um, and bring some friends and show them what, why we've fought so hard. If you see some of, of the Wildlife and Fisheries Commissioners or Wildlife and Fisheries Agents Administration like Secretary Monoset or our buddy Garrett Graves in Congress, thank them because thanks to them we have that season. Other news, we actually uh, expanded Big Jack's Reef in Big Lake. So uh, uh, we added about three or four acres uh, of more uh, reef in Big Lake last week. And we will be building two, uh, Vermilion 233, which is out of Sippermore Point, offshore. It's going to be more of like a pickets kind of reef uh, to replace some structure that's been removed in the next two weeks. So that's coming down the pipe and then star. And after that, I think it's on to the fishing report. They got, oh, we're going to get ready to bring you a bunch of fish report. <laughs> but let me tell you what. You know, and the news, I mean, if you want to find out what's happening, you go to the website for Louisiana Wildlife Fisheries. And, uh, you know, Louisiana Wildlife Foundation, Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Foundation, but still, they, they got their website and they out there all the time plugging, and we're helping Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries. So we'll come back. We're coming back with the Berkeley. I was going to see a fishing report in this extent. Pod's moving in storage. I need to clean out my study. We'll deliver a container. My brother-in-law's moving in. Maybe he'll help you pack. He's lazy. We can refer some professionals. It's just until he finds work. We can keep things at our storage center for as long as it takes. I am not happy about this. Or you can keep your things on site for quick unloading. Did you say freeloading? <laughs> I said unloading. I heard freeloading. I'm sure you did. Store on site or let us drive your things to our secure storage center. Pod's moving in storage solved. Benny's Unlimited Wash Club memberships start at $14.99 a month. Wash, rinse, and repeat every day. Join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club at one of Benny's seven locations. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave and crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice-cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. Welcome back to the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. And by the way, we're talking about Fishing Report. If you ever want a good Fishing Report, you come over here. It's a pair of bait and tackle. And you see what baits these people are walking in. I've been busy this morning, huh? It has. I've been seeing a lot of these corks leaving. I've been watching baits leaving, plastics leaving, bass baits leaving. 
They're, they all they're hop it's amazing the traffic of fishing on a Monday morning. We filmed this on Monday of, of the week. I'm really shocked that nobody's doing anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we got a lot to do. We got to help get out of here. Chris got to go somewhere. Look, uh, offshore. You, you, you get more reports from offshore than I do. I happened to be at Fushon and Moran's Marina the other day, and I, I fished inshore, but a lot of the media people went offshore. Don Dubuque, Chris, and all them were out there. And, and so, but all, all Chris's cameras were coming in with wheel bands full. I look and snapper. I say, wait, they're a little bit. I said, what is that? That's Vermillion snapper. Vermillion snapper. Take my word. I thought it was 10, like it was. The limit is 10 for mangrove snapper, I know. But, and, and, and you got a size limit. These guys tell me if that's all you're catching, Vermillion snapper, you can keep 20 a person. It had to be more because they had six, 10 people on a boat. And they had wheelbarrows full. Look, look, that's what happens when captains make lemonade out, you know, out of lemons. Because the problem with offshore right now is the weather's been tough. Lot, very windy, very, very, very windy. But when it's when it's slick, they're catching fish. And uh, it looked like Chris and Don and them had a great trip with Captain Chris Moran. Caught a bunch of vermilion, a ton of vermilion. Um, but we're also starting to see people with a bunch of dolphin, a bunch of mangroves. Uh, like I said, wahoo, a, wahoo, tuna, tuna, you name it. Yeah, when they, the weather's right. Yeah. They, when the weather's right, they're biting. Now keep in mind, with the charter fleet, you can't start catching red snapper till June first. Uh, so you haven't start see. You, you're not going to see that for another two weeks. Um, but I think you're going to see this weekend, as long as the weather cooperates, you're going to see every offshore species that people target hit the dock. It's going to be fun. Uh, last, last Thursday was the first Thursday we didn't have a severe storm. That is true. It, it came Sunday morning. A lot of people, we were in church or going somewhere else, so, but it, it break out. And that has a lot to do with the fish report, especially freshwater. Right now, is, 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 I'm going to come back to that because right now, trout are unbelievable. Reports are coming. Ain't, it ain't been a big trout report, but the redfish are unbelievable. Island Marina, Captain Drake Morvan, and Clint the Almonds and them, they're packing, they're taking care of their customers. And they catch a few trout every now and then. They get on, they find the clear water. But the redfish are going crazy. I mean, they're catching a lot of undersized redfish, but that's just add to the day. You know what I'm talking about? You're catching them, throwing them back, you're having fun. So it, it, it's Island Marina, anytime you want to call any of those places down there that I'm telling you about, I'm using the captains, or they're helping me, you, you just call Island Marina and ask them. What else they got? They got some beautiful live shrimp right now. Uh, Delacro, Jack's another one. He all of a sudden they'll get on some trout. You know the water get clear and something will move around. You don't want to fish a west wind in Delacro, but during this rodeo, a lot of them people were catching some beautiful trout. Uh, I'm not talking about no six, seven pounders you see it, but there are a lot of two and three pound trout. We caught a lot of two and three pound trout in, in you know, towards the west over there, Calumet and all them reefs over there that we fished, but. Going back to Island Marina and in that area, the redfish, live shrimp or dead shrimp under a cork, uh, a lot of those captains are using four horse cork. So I, I can't say nothing else. I, they ain't my sponsor, but I'm going to call a spade a spade. Uh, and another one in that area is, is Joey Donwa, uh, fishing out of Muddy Grove. I don't, he used to fish out of Delta Marina. Delta Marina is open mm -hmm. right now, and uh, Mr. Mitch and them are doing. I can't say it. Zurich? How do you say Mitch's last name? Zurich? I don't know, uh, but he's a great he's guy. Cool. He is he is really trying to get Delta Marina back to where it needs to be. So go see him there, Star Way Station. Um, he he's sinking a bunch of money and a bunch of time into it, and I think it's going to turn back into one of the premier uh, marinas down in in Plaquemines Parish. So it's good to have Mitch and his whole team back. All right, you give me something right now. I'm going to take a break. <laughs> Perfect. Do that. If you go to Grand Isle or Fujian and you can't catch a trout and the wind's not blowing, you need a new hobby, apparently. Because I'm going to tell you, Vadrine is stacking up really big trout, but everybody's catching fish. Captain Frank Dreer, uh, Captain Eddie Berthelot, all those guys that I've talked to in the last couple weeks, they are 
hammering the fish and everywhere. They were fi fishing way up in Hackberry, which is close to your Myrtle Grove area, but uh, they were also fishing the beach between Grand Isle and Fouchon around Elmer's and catching a lot of fish. So they are there. You just got to play the weather and play the tides uh, and then you're good. And I also know coquetry is turned on. I've, I've talked to Tommy Pellegrin and Todd Black, same thing. If the weather, the weather is dictating where they go, but if you, uh, if if the wind lays down, well, they are catching water fish. That water bait ought to turn on over there all the time. There, it, it's, it is go time. I'm getting ready to go. You know, in Grand Isle, every time I went, all them captains say we're coming in with fish, trout, and uh, they, they were averaging from 45 to a limit, and they're catching them, them trout. Uh, I think the biggest fish. fish we had wasn't quite three pounds, but uh, I mean, they're chunks. They're good They're doing fish. it, and they're keeping you. Ain't a whole lot of throwbacks. Uh, I can't pronounce that, but I met a lady, and she was bragging about uh, her, her Captain Austin Uso at, at uh, down the Bayou Charter. She, she had a beautiful string of fish, and I said, please give me that picture, and she sent it to me. Grand Isle, Miss Vohaney, 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 Wascom. Miss Wascom, thank you for sending that picture. That was a beautiful catch, and uh, she was bragging on your captain. So there are a lot of great captains down there. Y'all go over there and do it. I told you again, now Jody Donwa, he's been sending me pictures. Trout, trout, trout. Last week that wind got bad. All his, all his clients coming from all over the country. He had his clients there, he was fishing. He, he put them on some red. He dives the wind. He put them on them redfish and them salad bays. That's and, the game. Uh, secret, four half cock and live shrimp. So. Uh, Venice. Now, you're getting reports from Venice too, you know, offshore and everything. I'm getting speckled trout reports. Dan while every week, two days a week, he's sending me pictures of limits. And he's been fishing the high water, glass minnow, you know, no live shrimp, no nothing. He's fishing in Brenton Sound. Where's the water? Where are they fishing? All over. Now, you, redfish are plentiful, they're, and they're well, all, they've been making a living. Captain Alan Trout. Morrow and those guys. Trout, they're going into yellow cotton. They're going into di different bays to get away from the muddy Mississippi River water. But their trout are there. You just got to find them. You got to find clean water. And that's, that's really been the secret. I got another good-looking fish, a six-pound fish, Dustin De Benedetta sent it, fishing Timberlea. He's fishing around Fushaw. Uh, he, he was catching them on Croker. And uh, he caught that big fish on a croaker, he's, Carolina he, rig. He's no stranger to the star leaderboard either. Yeah, I know that guy <laughs> about that. Old Dustin sit there. But uh, he, he was fishing. He said uh, he did catch some on a few on a live shrimp, but he caught that big one on croaker. Thank you, Dustin. Keep them coming. All them reports not only helps us, it helps people that watch Paradise, Louisiana. Let's go to Freshwater real quick and get out of here. Well on. Where, where's my Freshwater report? You didn't. You ain't hiding my freshwater report. <laughs> I, I did not hide. I it. just had it there. Oh look, there it is. There it is. All right. You got any freshwater report? I don't. No. I don't. I, I, I president of the star. You know, but you got a lot of people that fish freshwater, especially oh, up there do. where you from in Shreveport and Bossier City. So don't forget, I had a baby two weeks ago. I haven't gotten to fish saltwater, freshwater, anything, and I've actually been a little out of touch uh, besides trying to get star up and running. But so, you're the star president, star chairman, whatever. That, I'll be back in the swing of things coastal. when I talk to you all next week and, okay. and show you the new leaderboard. The coastal. Coastal. You're the coastal fisherman, though. You, yes. you, don't, you don't get to fish up no more in them lakes where you were raised. No, look, I was a bass fisherman at heart. Started up in Monroe, living on the Washita River, and, uh, you know, I still love to do it from time to time, but I spend most of my time I'm in glad Grand you Isle. said that. I, I got somebody in, in the central part of the state right now and going to send reports. I haven't talked to Mr. Humphreys. Palmer Humphreys over there, he was sending me reports. Uh, all the rivers are high. Everybody's fighting the same thing. In the mm. backwater, they're catching. It's always backwater. Against the levees, even in the places that the major rivers, the Red River, the Chapalaya River, all of them, they're going back in the bachelors, they're going back there. They're catching catfish everywhere. Lake Barrette, everywhere you go, they're catching catfish. They catch them under cork. They catch them with shad as bait. They... Look at this catfish. KD sent me this. Uh, and Miss LeBlanc caught this fish. Caught it on a bush line, you know, a brush line where you put hanging in a tree almost like a yo-yo, and it, she used it. 
she had another fish on there. I had a six pound blue cat that the flathead catfish ate. Two. So she had two of them. One was six pounds and the other one. KD sent me that Vianne LeBlanc from Sunshine, Louisiana. That was good. Uh, the, the biggest reports we're getting right now, exactly unbelievable and how big they are. So many people you know when you go and you got to, almost like trout fishing now, you know, you got you, you to gotta stick and run and stick and dodge or whatever you got to do. But you, when you find them cyclades right now, they, they ganged up in Lake Barrette. That's another treacherous lake. So when you go, you, you, you got to be careful. And a lot of landings you put in, some of them are close. So, you know, tack a pole landing. But if you put in a piece like Bayside, you got to out all the way to the lake and get away from the way, you know, get your wake away from all the camps over there. Uh, Lake Barrette and another one's catfish, sacale, and bass. Look at all these tournaments right now coming out of Bayside, coming out of Dry Run. All these people be, be, be catching these bass are there. The shed run is on. Uh, you talk to Steve and them right now, they had 50 something bass. They caught a fishing spinner bait because the shed are all every little grass pocket underneath the tree, underneath the piers. So uh, that's the pattern right now. You know, you, you get your shed color, get you a good spinner bait, your favorite spinner bait, white, white and chartreuse and blue. And uh, that's what you catch. Catching bass in Venice. Don't ask me where. Hey, it is making me sick. Look, the fish are biting. It's springtime. Get outside. Get doing it. Look, all the people are catching brim in the ponds near my house right now. Like, everybody's just outside and enjoying the fish are biting. They're hungry. I go over there by Glenn Davis Automotive, and he'll tell you right now where all them sacklay are. Glenn, Glenn and them been hurting them sacklay up in, in, in the Lake Red area. Uh, in Lake Pelord, John Bernard, He's still taking him kids and his friends over there. They're fishing worms under a cart in that area. They're running north of Lake Fluid and them dead end canals and finding them run out. Uh, here's a picture with Landon Prudham and uh, uh, Brandon. Yeah, it's Brandon Prudham. Yeah, congratulations on God. John, keep sending those reports. He's been a little late lately. He's been fishing on Sunday. I guess he can't get to me on Monday. But uh, thank you, John. I'm picking on you. Keep it up. Uh, to lead a bend, and, and, and that's it. I, I know you don't get a report from over there right now. Take care of that baby. I will, and star starts Saturday. Get in, get signed up, and put a fish on the leaderboard in the first weekend. Don't you leave. I'm gonna ride I will to take it. <laughs> right now. All right. You're watching Paradise for Louisiana. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. And by the way, thank you for sponsoring Paradise for Louisiana. You got it. Let us bring in here. This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, and by Farm Bureau Insurance.